Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Surgery Simulator 2013. This video is going to be kind of different from all of my other videos because this, this is not a gaming video, no. This has been out since 2013, so a lot of YouTubers have played this game before me, but I'm going to be playing it for what it is. This is not just a game. This isn't something you play around in. This is a serious simulation, and... When taken seriously, it can be used as a tool to learn how to perform surgeries. Today, I'm going to teach you how to perform a heart transplant. Our patient's going to be Bob. Now, this is obviously a very useful skill. If Shut up! Shut up, phone! Shut up! How do you do this again? How do you just put your hand to your... Just, bah. Uh, hold on, let me just... Uh, excuse me. Shut up. Okay. Okay. Anyway, like I was saying, this is a useful skill because, you know, you're, you're just walking down the street, right? And your neighbor, you see him, he's out in his front yard and he just starts, like, holding his, like, heart and shit. He's having a heart attack, right? He falls on the ground and you're like, I watch Captain Babyface's video. I know what to do. I can save this guy. So you run to your garage and you get a hammer. You go inside and you get a kitchen knife because that's all you really need. I, I'm going to show you how to do it and you can save his life. Now, one thing you're going to need that you probably won't have laying around the house, or you might, I don't know you but you're gonna need to get a heart. So you can just go to your local Oregon's R Us, pick up a heart, and that's all you're gonna need. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this. And then you'll just be showing off to your friends. You'll be like, hey, you want a new heart? I can open you up and give you a new heart. It's that easy. All right, so first, you're gonna wanna get this nasty ass cloth out of here. Okay, there you go. Oh, now, okay, now we're just gonna put this over his face. Just, just in case he wakes up, we don't want him to see anything that we're doing. If this gets off, get off my hand. Come on. Okay. Maybe it won't. Okay. Anyway, we got to clean up our workspace, right? We're going to need a lot of space. We don't need this radio. Just get out of here. Next, the things we're going to need for this, all we're going to need is our hammer and our scalpel. We don't need this drill or anything. So, yeah, this is this is definitely a surgery that you can just perform with stuff you find around your house. Kitchen knife and a hammer. That's all you're going to need. Over here, oh, something you're going to want to make sure you have. You're going to need both of these needles, right? This, the green one, makes them stop bleeding magically. And the other one, just in case you prick yourself with the green one, you start tripping. That one will fix you up. So what you're going to want to do for this one, so get this beaker out of here. I don't need you. Get out of here. Okay. Going to pick up your hammer. You're going to, hopefully, do I have a good grip on this? This is bad. Oh, I, I had a scalpel picked up too. Okay, so, god damn it, stop picking up the scalpel. Okay, so we've got our hammer. We're going to come over here. Ah, you're going to remove the ribs. He's not going to need these anymore. You're just going to remove these ribs, like so, maybe. Ugh. There you go. There you go. Ah! This is something you don't want to do. Uh, I haven't done a surgery in a while, so got my hammer stuck in there. But you don't want to get your hammer stuck in the patient. That's bad. want to make sure that almost all the ribs are removed so that we can really get in there and get the heart out. Oh, he's, he's losing blood really fast. That's why we've got this needle over here. So you go pick up. Oh, come on. There you go. You're just going to stab him in the face with this one. Magic. See? Stop bleeding. So now you just gotta start cleaning up. Pick up these red fragments. He's not gonna need those anymore. You can just throw them out of there. Come on! Okay, there you go. Okay, get all of this stuff out of here. We're not gonna need any of these ribs anymore. Just make sure that you buy the the special heart that uh, has the lung and rib combo so that when you actually put in the new heart, it'll he won't need anything else. I don't even know what this is, so he can't need this. You can just throw that, get that out of here. Now! We're going to remove these big uh, brain-looking balloon things. He's not going to need those either. Just... Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Get out of there. Come on. <laughs> Hold on. I, th I don't think I removed the ribs good enough. Come on. Oh, my watch is gone. And that's in the patient. Aha! We got the rib or the, the balloon thing, though. I think that's called a lung, but he's not going to need that. First, we're going to want to make sure that we have this this thing open. This is your new heart. Uh, yeah. Uh, come on. Uh. Aha! Okay, see, it's a beautiful new heart. It's a lot bigger than the old one, so it actually functions as the lungs, too. 
and the rib cage. You're not gonna need those anymore just because you got the special heart from Oregon's RS. Now, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your scalp. If you have a nurse, you can just yell at her like in all the TV shows to get you the scalpel. I don't have one of those though. I, I don't think you will have a nurse if you're just like doing this on, on the street, saving your neighbor who's having a heart attack. So now we're just gonna go in. We just gotta cut this thing out right here. Ugh. Ugh. There you go. Bleeding stopped. All good. Oh wow, that that's a lot of blood. That is a. I don't. I don't think that's supposed to be happening. Um. Hmm. Uh. Maybe. Maybe we should stop that bleeding again. Good thing we've got. A. a come here. God damn it. Oh shit. Well. That's not good. Don't reach it. Ah. Damn it. That's the wrong one. If we prick him with that, he's gonna die. I think that's how it goes. Come here. We're gonna use this thingy. Um, this can easily be substituted with just like a chainsaw or something. Gotta get that out. We gotta get that out. He's bleeding. He's bleeding real bad. Um, well, you can't save them all. You can't save them all. He was a goner. Okay, we're gonna try again on a new patient. This one's actually named Billy. Here, we're already doing better than we were last time. Just gonna put that on his face or over there. That's good too. We should probably do a better job at cleaning up our workspace this time. Uh, we're not gonna need this. This, uh, this... Oh, yeah, good. We're not gonna need that. Not gonna need this. Get that out of there. We don't need a radio! Oh. There we go. Okay, get out of here. Not gonna need the bone saw. <clears throat> oh, that didn't do much. Okay, we wanna make sure that we get this open. There we go. Beautiful heart. Now! We want to start with the hammer. Okay, got a beautiful grip on the hammer now, so why is it sliding out of my hand? Stop! Okay. Once again, we're, we're just gonna smack these ribs out. Oh shit, okay, uh, don't, don't drop the hammer when you do this for yourself. I don't want to smack this out. Okay. This guy's bones came out a lot easier than the last one. He must not drink as much milk as the last one, but he's bleeding a little bit. Oh, shit. Okay. Come on, doctor. We need to give him a shot. He is dying. There we go. And he's now bleeding out of his face, but that's okay, because we gave him the shot. So he's not bleeding anymore. Now we just gotta clean up. Not gonna need these. Oh, you can just chill right there. Come on. Yeah, he doesn't even need this, whatever it is. Come on. There's no place for balloons and bodies. Get that out of there. They've got your nose. I've got your nose. Blah. 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 Okay. So now, I I've never actually seen this before in all of my surgeries that I've done. I'm a, I'm a, a journeyman surger surgery man never seen this oh there we go we got it out you want to try not to cut the patient like i just did he's gonna need the need a shot shot of the morphine just gonna poke this in his face again there we go okay so let's let's get this thing out he's not gonna need this anymore because the heart is an all-in-one organ does the job of all the organs that he had in here he's not gonna need any of those anymore come on Ugh. Ugh. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, let's let's just. Uh, 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 uh. It's not coming out. I think we gotta cut this one out. Scalpel. Well, this is a problem. Um, it seems. Oh, there's my watch. Okay, we'll put that over there. Seems like the pink thing is stuck, and that is a bad thing. All right, let, let's just start hacking at the heart. We're gonna use a different scalpel for this. Now, when removing the heart, we just need to remove... Oh, we got the thing! We got the thing! Okay, hold on. Step back. Let's get this thing. You just gotta take the umbilical cord out. God damn it. This pink thing is the umbilical cord. Shit. Damn it. Uh, it, it, sh it should be good just sitting in there. Now, we need to get the, the umbilical sac. This pink thing I've decided is the umbilical sac. We need to get the umbilical sac out. Are you losing blood? You're losing blood slowly, but let's stop that, because this might be a while. Alright, we need to reposition this so that I can pick it up without pricking myself. Ugh. Just... Bah! Right in the top of the head. Once we get the umbilical sac out, we will be good to go. Pick up the hammer. Oh, 
pick up just the hammer, not anything else. So grab the hammer. God, now we want to be very gentle to only hit the bones. There, now we should be able to grab the umbilical sack. But let's, let's just go straight at the heart, okay? I like that idea. We've got our scalpel. We now just need to cut the arteries around the heart. And hopefully we don't lose a lot of blood like that. Oh, sh shoot. Okay, you need a shot. Oh, shoot. You need a shot ASAP. Come on. Stop playing around. Now we're just gonna... Boop you in the head. wonder if I can just go all Aztec on him and grab it out. Carefully cut the arteries. Aha! We got one. And I think there is a couple more. There we go. I think the heart is free. It doesn't seem to be beating anymore. That's a good thing. Grab- Aha! Like, he's not gonna need that anymore. Just throw that over there. We just need to grab the all-in-one organ. There we go. We're just gonna drop this in there. Voila. Looks fine to me. D, what do you mean? I am the master surgeon. That's how you do a heart transplant. This is a serious simulation, so anything you learned here can be applied in real life. You just gotta take the hammer and boop the ribs out and pull out all the organs. Go to Organs RS, pick up an all-in-one heart, and then you just drop it in there and you save the life. How it's done, that's all you need to know. So I'm sorry that this video was, was on a serious note as opposed to all my other videos, which are fun gaming videos, but I just thought that you needed to learn this skill of surgery so that you could maybe save a life. And then when the news people are interviewing you and they're like, how did you how did you know how to do a heart transplant? How did you perform a heart transplant with just a, a, a hammer and a kitchen knife? You'll say, oh, Captain Babyface taught me that. So next video, uh, whenever it is, we'll be back to the normal game and stuff. I just wanted to teach you how to do this. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Click the video on the left to hear some important channel information, and click the video on the right to watch episode 1 of Suncraft UHC.